What's going on, everybody? What's poppin'? It's your boy, Cruel Virus. This kills me cool over there. Um, and we're back for a special uh, podcast, Switch Edition, um, prediction. What is it, Switch Miss? Um, Switch Miss, as everybody is dubbing it online. Um, I did not create that phrase, but that's why everybody's dubbing it. So it's actually Switch Miss Eve as we're recording this podcast right here. Um, this is the night before everything pops off. Yep. Um, uh, for those that don't know, the Switch presentation is tomorrow at 11 o'clock Eastern. We will be covering it um, extensively with a whole bunch of footage and a whole bunch of stuff. So if you're a Nintendo fan, check it out. If you're an Xbox fan, check it out. Or a PlayStation fan because there might be stuff for everybody here. You know, Kills plays on PC. Right, Kills? Yes, sir. That's like your prim- primary thing. He's a PC master race man. <laughs> and he's looking into the Switch because it's just different... Um, something new for the first time yeah. in a while. Um, Nintendo is always known for taking regular ideas and flipping them on their on their back and like creating new stuff. Yeah. Um, long story short, um, if you haven't seen what the Switch is by now, um, and um, kills, play that trailer so people could just get a good look at more or less what is the Switch. Yep. No problem. Um, I'm gonna look at it here because if y'all watch the podcast, y'all know that this is magic. I do not see what y'all seeing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here, gotta watch it on my phone. So, uh, not being rude, but checking it out with y'all. Now, um, for those that don't know, the Switch is basically Nintendo's new answer to handheld and home console gaming. Yeah. That's basically it's what it rumored, is. Yeah, it's rumored to be running on. Um, they have a partnership with Nvidia, and it's rumored to be running on the Tegra X1 chip, or the Tegra X2 chip, which I believe is Pascal, and the original one is Maxwell, Maxell or Maxwell. Don't quote me on it because um, I'm not a computer software engineer, designer, software, and none of that. But. It's a customized chip from NVIDIA, and it's giving it the power to do what y'all seeing right here in this trailer. I think the the craziest thing about this is um, not not the uh, the whole uh, take it out and play wherever you want, but uh, cartridges are back in a, a console. Yeah, but that's for a reason because um, the system is from what we're hearing, it's um not gonna have a hard drive because um. If you are trying to go from transition from playing your game in the living room and you see how he snaps it back in and takes it with him and takes it back out, um, games don't have the read and write speed to write that fast. Pardon me, hard drives don't have the read and write speeds to write back that fast. Um, so it wouldn't be able to, let's say, if you have a hard drive like we have on our computers or on our PS4s or Xboxes, and we're playing a game that's on our hard drive, and we're just like, okay, we gotta go, and we snap it and take it go. Um, if that game is in the hard drive, you already know, Kills, how long does it take to download or move a file that's 50 gigs? Yeah. So, um, supposedly, cartridges, they're using them because they're able to load up faster. You don't have to install them, and they can read and write faster from the actual system. It makes sense, um, yeah. Make, makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. Back in the days, there were no load games loading in the old games that we played that had cartridges. It started when we got CDs. Once the CD era came, um, you know, the drive has to play the CD, the eye has to read it, pass it along. Um, long story short, but um, this is the prediction. So, y'all seen what it is. Yeah, already know what's going on. Um, yeah, seen the little things that they showed in the trailer. Um, uh, kills. First, I want you. I want your predictions. We're gonna go with price. What unexpected game you see, think will be there? Um, what's your main concern? And what's your? F- what's the main thing you think you want to happen, but you don't think will happen? Uh. Oh, oh, and one more thing, one more thing. No, 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 no. Let's re- let's revamp okay. that. Pardon me, pardon me. Let's revamp that. Let's go with launch date. Launch date. Ah. Uh-huh. What game you think will it's unexpectedly gonna show up? Okay. Right. Yeah. Your con your concerns. Right. And what you want from the system that you hope will they will announce. 
four things. So let's go with first with launch date. What do you think? I think it's gonna be late March. They always do the with the late releases. Let's pinpoint it. P give me a date. Like the twenty, the, like think? the twenties, the twenty fifth, twenty sixth, around there. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go with. Um, let me grab my phone because Nintendo's known to do Sundays. Oh, Sundays. Nintendo's known. Nintendo's known to do Sundays or Fridays. So, um, let me look at my calendar right here and look at March for a second. Ah, twenty eighth then, um, or the twenty sixth? Oh, where is it? Yeah. Oh, that's right. The 26. <laughs> um, okay, the 26. I'm going to go with... Um, I'm going to go with a Friday. I'm going to go with the Friday before. It's, I'm going to go with March 17th. Oh, the 17th. No, I'm going to go with March... I'm going to go with March 17th. That sounds like a good date, yeah. I'm going to go with March 17th. I've been hearing a lot of rumors that it's supposed to be March 24th. I'm going to one-up everybody and just say March 17th. Um... What game do you think will be there that's unexpected? Probably another Mario Party. Another Mario Party? Mm -hmm. You're really going to go with Mario uh, Party? Probably a Mario Party. Something with Mario. Because they always... Uh... Well, 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 they showed that. That's, that's like an unfair question. Because you know, I mean, not an uh, answer. You know that they showed in the trailer the Mario. That's it's why I'm not Mario. counting Zelda. I'm not counting Mario, Zelda. Um, what else did we see in the trailer? Splatoon. And Mario Kart. I'm not counting none of those because we've seen them at the trailer. It's a given that they might show those mm. there. I'm talking about what unexpected game that you could expect that will just like come out of nowhere that you didn't even expect will be there. I wouldn't know. <laughs> you wouldn't know. Take a guess. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like the only thing that I could like, like I said, the only thing that I could expect from Nintendo is to throw out one of their big hitters again, but in a, a spinoff rather than a. Rather than a regular Mario game. Alright, I'ma go with I'ma go with I'ma take it a stretch. I'ma go with Bayonetta 3. I'm just oh. saying Bayonetta 3. I'ma just say Bayonetta 3 or oh, or oh, damn, I'm 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 confused with Metroid and Bayonetta. I'm scared oh. that I'm not scared. I'm not scared, but I think like Nintendo really knows that they need to hit us with a hardcore Metroid oh. game. Not so it's like I'm torn between a Metroid or a Bayonetta. Uh, but I think they would say I think they would say Metroid. Oh, for game. I didn't. Uh, I didn't think of that because they haven't had Metroid for like four years and shit. Yeah, I'm over I'm here stuck on stupid. I think, but but they they run the risk of of actually showing a, a Mario right now, right? And it coming out. That's why I believe the the we're gonna get into that in a few minutes. The Zelda when we show the trailer or whatever. But um, that's why I believe in a way that Zelda will be there day one. Because that's why I'm not even counting Zelda. I'm, I, I already know they're going to show some type of Zelda because it's been what they've been promoting. I'm talking about what game do you think is like the most unexpected game. Like it could even be like 100, um, what was it? Wonderful 101 Part 2. Because Platinum is listed as one of the developers that's supposed to be actually making a game for the Switch. So it could actually be like, you know, like Wonderful 101 Part 2. But um, I'm going to go with Bayonetta 3. But um, Bayonetta 2 was good. I'm going to just go with Bayonetta 3, man. Hopefully, the Metroid rumor was true, too. <laughs> Word. Um, I wasn't even now, thinking of that. Holy shit. Um, and what was the other thing I said? Um, number three would be Bro, your main concern. My main concern. What's your main concern? Uh, it's always my main concern. It's the battery life. Always. It's never as... N That's never going to change with me. Yeah. 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 What, what, are, you, what are you estimating... Um battery like i i don't know not estimating but what do you feel would be adequate you know like basically a good battery life for you what 10 hours is a good battery life 10 hours 10 hours but it's not gonna not happen be, but at least six you're not being realistic no yeah i'm, I'm six I, i'm expecting i'm expecting three to five and i'm happy with that i'm happy I mean, with six it is, it is the most powerful handheld that's ever existed. so it's probably gonna be like way less I know I'm not being realistic, well, but... Well, at least we do know one thing that's been proven. It hasn't been confirmed, but it's almost proven. It's um, that the Switch will be using USB-C. Um, I don't know if we went through this last we time did. when we talked about USB-C. But, you know, if y'all can go back on the old podcasts. But as you can see, USB-C, uh, my phone uses USB-C. Um, it's basically a, f a faster charger than anything that's out right now when it comes to, like... Um, multimedia devices like tablets um phones um 
and I'm pretty sure they're, they're gonna be able to charge this system within like half an hour, 45 minutes. I, I believe, I honestly believe, Kills, that you will be able to sit down the switch for 45 minutes, say you at 10%, I really believe that at 10%, you put your switch down to charge or you connect a, a, a charger, a wall outlet, I guarantee you within 30 to 45 minutes, you will be at 80% charged. I guarantee you. Guarantee you. Just like my phone. That's why they're using the switch. Yeah, that's why they're using That's why they're using the USB-C. So um, your concern is battery life. My concern is, I don't know. I have one main concern. My main concern is that I brought a lot of games digital on the Wii U, right? Their last console. Now, granted, the Wii U didn't do that good. They never promised that what we brought online would carry over. But I brought so much stuff that now I feel like what's going to happen to all the stuff that I brought? Are they going to do it like Microsoft and um, start making this stuff available via backwards compatibility? Um, they cups, Rumor has it that there's Mario Kart Splatoon and um, Mario Maker ports. I brought these digital. I have them on my Wii U. Will I get a discount? Do I have to rebuy them again? Because, I mean, they're adding extra stuff. Supposedly 20 more maps and a whole bunch of rumor stuff. But even if they are adding stuff, do I get a discount? 50%? Like, um, I hope they answer that at the show. That's, like, my number one main concern. Um, definitely my number one main concern. Did you do a lot of digital over there? Yeah, um, um, I did the, the games digital, like Hyrule Warriors and uh, Mario Kart. Yeah, yeah, you understand? I did I did the same thing, so, um, man, it's like we might be losing out on a lot of things. Maybe. Like, I mean, are they going to... They. I remember when they switched over from Wii to Wii U, they gave us the option for certain games that we brought digital, but it was only like their eShop games. Um, to pay like a two dollar fee or a dollar fee to transfer them over with better graphics or whatever, like um high definition or widescreen or whatever, the case in certain games that supported it. Yeah. Um, I hope I hope they do something like that. You know, I brought Smash Brothers. I brought all the DLC. Um, I don't want to reach down there and pull out all these joysticks and so much time and stuff that me and my kids put into Smash Brothers. Um, are y'all gonna give me a discount? I brought all the DLCs. I must have spent like a hundred and something dollars on Smash Brothers. 60 for the game, three or four map packs at $20 each, um, um, costume packs. Like, I really spent a lot of money on Smash Brothers. Me and my, my kids, we enjoy it. We do Smash sessions when, like, when summer times. Me and my nephews play. Um, long story short, am I going to get a discount? I brought the Mario Kart. I brought the season pass, $80. Um, it came out all together, too. Um, am I going to get a season um uh, 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 upgrade you understand where i'm going kids? yeah i understand uh, i feel if you. it's the same game if it's the same game with little minimal stuff that they added like some type of discount should be offered to us that's what i'm i'm guessing like that's my main concern is it like is uh, everything you think mario kart is uh like they're gonna give us the same game but they're gonna add in uh king boo like you said in the, in the trailer they showed it yeah um are they gonna add different yeah, maps the to it well, rumor has it that it's 20, um, something leaked from GameStop. Um, we're not going to post it here because, you know, we do rumors and kills, kills gaming, but I don't really get crazy into the rumors because it could be anybody that just drew something, passed it along online. We usually just talk about it, skip over it, and keep it moving. It's always like a short subject on the shows. Yeah. We try not to, like, do rumors because it ends up looking nowhere, and then, like, a year later from now, you look back at the show and you'll be like, I can't believe I fell for that. So we, we try to stay away from them, but... Rumor has it kills is 20 maps, 20 new maps, 10 new characters, and an improved battle mode. Um, somebody leaked something from GameStop online, like a um, like one of them sell sheets where they like they show you each game and what it is, yeah. or whatever. They copied it from online from one of their like from their computers, and they showed um Splatoon with new maps and new weapons and um. I forgot what was the other game. Um, the Raven Rabbits is a is an RPG with Raven Rabbits, but that's a rumor that's been going around for a while. Like there's this woman that she like spreads a lot of um like she don't spread a lot of rumors. Like she she basically leaks a lot of stuff. Her name is Laura Kate Dale, if I'm not mistaken. She she releases a lot of stuff that be real. Like it comes true. Like she predicted so much stuff, and um she released like a whole bunch of like stuff and like. People already know that there's like a Raven Rabbits, like the um the Ubisoft, the Raven yeah. Rabbits, some crazy little rabbits. There's a, a RPG with Nintendo that they're making. Like it's like some Raven Rabbits Mario RPG, like Paper Mario type of shit going on there. 
Um, so whoever, like whoever drew that, could have been like just going off of the leaks. Like so, you know, it's skeptical at the end of the day. But those are my concerns. I don't want to keep bragging. I mean, dragging it on, not bragging, dragging it on. on. Um, and that's it. Um, basically, that's like everything we needed to cover. But I feel like there's a little more we should go with because uh, I forgot to like say it in the beginning. What do you think the price is gonna be? Oh well, I have a prediction on. Uh, I feel like I feel. I'm not saying that it will happen, but I feel like they they are or the they should go with a a Wii U. Uh, not a Wii U. Excuse me. A Wii uh, Switch that only has the the portable version. It doesn't have the port. It just has a charger and just that. So you could just take it around with you. And then another version yeah. where it's both. You can have the port where you can plug into your TV. I feel like they should yeah, do that. They should. Yeah, they'll probably do that further along the line. But right now, they're trying to sell it with the port because um, like a lot of developers have come out and said that when it's portable mode, it's running at half the power. So it takes out a lot of the like, like Unreal Engine. Yeah. Like um, somebody seen the Unreal Engine 4 um, settings. And when you go into it, now there's, um, we, um, for people that don't know, Unreal Engine is like an engine that people use to make games. A lot of games get made Unreal Engine. Um, the latest one is Unreal Engine 4. And inside the settings, um, um, a lot of developers been coming out and rumors been coming around that the Switch is, it, it's on medium right now when they got it. And then when you take it, undock it and you take it with you, you have to lower everything to low. You understand? So if they was to make uh, just a portable version, they I feel like Nintendo would feel like every game would look low, like would be the ch like the lesser version. You don't get the whole satisfaction of when you plug it in and it's overclocked and now the system's running at 1080p and everything's looking crispy. You understand? Yeah, but I feel the people who buy the fucking portable version know that the portable version is not going to be as good as the regular one. They, they just want to yeah, play the game. Yeah. Remember, we're there's a lot of people that are just like us. They don't give a fuck about graphics. They like playing they video games. They don't care games. about graphics. You're right. They don't, but, you know, one another thing is that I feel like Nintendo really wouldn't be um, saving any money by doing that or losing any money at the same time because supposedly that plastic um, case that the dock, supposedly the dock is nothing but a, a shell with a USB-C um, connector on the bottom of it a pass over pass over into the um hdmi with a fan and two holes to air out because supposedly when you dock the switch it's fans it's it's openings and it's fan face a certain way that the fan inside the dock helps it blow more air out of it so it keeps the system actually cooler mm. you understand um and if you watch the reveal trailer and you pause it and you look back you'll see that on where the switch is docked at on the bottom it has like two holes on the bottom on each side so you could tell that they was doing something there before that patent leak came out that showed actually the fan that's inside of it so like they're saying it's cheap they want that's another thing that they're saying nintendo wants the dock to be so cheap because you could take it to multiple places in your house or take it to friends houses they want people to buy more docks so i'm pretty sure the dock is probably like gonna be like 20 or 30 dollars yeah give or take so like what price do you really think the switch is coming in at on thursday uh i, I got i don't know i, I probably like 300 to 400 dollars you're going that high I i'm going so. that high i have i set an extra 400 dollars away just for me just, oh, just yeah, to fucking yeah, buy yeah. Shit. well i have to get two because of my kids but i'm being more practical here like look this the, the, the three um the wii u right now it's at 350 329 299 you can find it with a game um it's still hard to find in certain places because they stopped selling them already like nintendo like got rid of all the wii u's and there's not yeah. really none in the pipeline so um i don't think they want to shoot themselves in the foot again the um if i'm not mistaken the original wii launched at 249 i'm thinking nintendo's going for 249 um something's telling me nintendo's going for 249 and if it's 299 it's because they do want to pack in with a game and some other stuff like probably a zelda bundle so I, like I have that. one question and i, I want to know like uh when they're announcing they, they're going to definitely announce pre-ordering shit right and that shit's probably gonna be um, sold out within the first fucking hour. <laughs> um, well, well, they're saying this is how it's gonna go. It's gonna go. They're saying that um, Thursday night, Switch Miss starts at eleven o'clock. 
um, it will be streamed on YouTube, your Xbox, PlayStation, Facebook Live, um, any other place you can find an internet connection to Nintendo's channel. So if you're on the internet, just try to get to anywhere Nintendo, YouTube, Nintendo, um, Nintendo.com, Facebook, Nintendo, um, on your Xbox, on um, or your PlayStation, or on IGN. Um, I'll, I'll post something on the page so y'all can see where y'all can go and want to watch it, whatever device y'all using. But it starts at 11 o'clock. It's supposed to be an hour presentation. They're supposed to say price, um, release date, games, um, and other features. Because supposedly they said that there's more to the Switch that we've seen. That trailer that we've seen, there's a whole lot more stuff that we have not seen. Um... A lot of stuff has leaked. Um, they're saying like the little Joy Cons that pull off their motion controllers, um, like the Wii, and they one of them on the right has a pointer. And it's like the Wii for certain games. Um, to rumors that the whole screen attaches to your face with a VR visor, and you can snap off the joysticks and be like this playing VR. Um, a whole bunch of rumors going around. So at the end of the day, they're the ones that said this about about there being um, extra features and stuff that we didn't get to see yet. And also, um, the patents that leaked go with that. So basically, that's all at 11 o'clock. And then the next day kills. There's no word of pre-orders yet. But the next day, they said everything that we seen the night before demo I mean, um, on the videos, like any game that they announced, the following day, they're going to be in the Nintendo Treehouse, which is their, tr their Twitch and YouTube stream. And we're going to get to see every game demoed and played for at least 45 to an hour. You understand? Yeah. So we're going to actually see these games running on the Switch, people playing them. Um, and it won't be just like we've seen a trailer and we got to wait till March to buy them and see how the games are. They're saying the very next day, it starts at 9.30 in the morning, by the way. So whoever's going to be up with me, I will be live streaming on Facebook Live. Um, if y'all want to check that out on the game page. Yeah, you're going to be there, um, right? Um, most likely, I'm not sure yet because I haven't had my email. I'm thinking that this is going to be for the big people like Times Magazines and all that. And then they're going to do us little guys in March, probably a week before, like they did with the Wii U, I remember. But um, definitely 9.30 um, Friday morning, Eastern Time. Um, and I had one more thing I wanted to say prior to the stuff that we was talking about. Do you think we are going to get achievements? Yeah, we. Uh, I feel like we're gonna have something like that because in I, the Wii U I we had the badges. Have something like it. I've been getting a lot of questions about that achievement stuff. That's what that, I. That we we'll probably about. have because we had the badges last time. Yeah, badges and all types of stuff. Um. So with that being said, Kills is going with three or four hundred dollars. He thinks they're just gonna show something other than Mario. Um. His worry is battery life. Yes. Is where is battery uh, life? Sorry, battery. And and, and, <laughs> and um, he thinks it's coming out on the twenty sixth. Twenty sixth. Okay, and I'm going with. I'm scared of my games not transferring over from Wii U. Yeah. I'm going with two hundred and forty nine dollars for the base model. Okay. And if they do go with two ninety nine, it's because either it has more memory, or it comes with a game. Better. Um. Um. And uh, what was the other thing? My date is March 17th. And what was your game? And my game, um, I'm going to go with Bayonetta, man. Um, so let's see how this turns out. It'll be good to come back um, next week when we record the real podcast and just blow your minds out. Because next podcast is going to be a lot of Switch stuff. Um, even though a lot of news popped off, rest in peace to um, Scalebound. Sorry, Scalebound. We miss you. Um, we're going to talk all about that stuff that's been going on um, in the in the news next week. Um, pretty sure Switch is going to be a whole lot of stuff about that. Oh, man. Um, kills. <laughs> it's um, it's um, Switch Miss Eve. Switch Miss Eve. As we, as we record this, tomorrow will be when we find out all the crazy stuff that is Nintendo oh, Switch. Shit. And how it's going to shape up the market to come. And how it's going to fare to Project Scorpio, Xbox's new machine. And... Um, PlayStation Pro, who's already out and has been doing good numbers and supposedly is getting in a lot of games. I'm yeah. um, waiting to play some Zero Horizon. <laughs> yeah. um, Kills, you got anything to say before we go? No, not at all. The, well, this, tomorrow is Thursday, right? So Thursday at 11. Yeah. 
Thursday at 11. We was gonna um play the Zelda trailer, but you know what? We'll play it at the end of this um kills. Put the um the trailer to um to the Zelda at the end of this um. We was gonna talk a lot about Zelda, but we it's pretty much confirmed that Zelda is gonna be a release game. So let's uh. just leave the trailer at the end. Um, this is your boy Crow Virus. Everybody enjoy y'all week and um, tune in on Thursday at. 11 o'clock i might be going live on facebook just to give like reactions of what the hell is going on that we're seeing and definitely expect me up at friday in the morning just so we can check out all these crazy ass trailers yeah check and out the instagram page because the instagram page is going to be lit with a whole bunch of fucking nintendo news instagram uh, instagram page um instagram at kills Krills gaming um facebook at facebook slash yep. Krills kills gaming um kills cool gaming um Check out Kills Me Cool, Krill Virus on Instagram, on Facebook, Marcos Twill Cologne, where I'm normally posting all types of crazy dog pictures and stuff. Um, yeah, but check us out, man. Um, shout out to everybody that basically likes, shares, and comments on everything. Kills, um, thanks for um, doing this special podcast in the middle of the night. Um, it was official. And um, what else I got to say? Are you going to... Go live with me so we could watch the show together. Skype it. Yeah, sure. Uh, definitely, definitely. Yeah. That, that'd be all good. right, all right. But what time is um eleven eleven o'clock over here would be what for you tomorrow? Three in the afternoon. Three in the afternoon. No, five hours before you. That's eleven. Oh, five. All right, all right. Okay, all right. So then you you got time for the afternoon That's six, to watch yeah. this. All right, six. Definitely. You got time in the afternoon. Yep. All right. So we're gonna probably see if we work something out. Probably record a Skype with reactions to this shit. Let's see what happens, man. <laughs> Peace out. It's your boy Crow Virus, man. Peace. All right, Mo. Sponsored by Krill's Kills Gaming. Yeah.